How's it going everyone? It's Aaron back out with another Jeep Wrangler JK video. Today I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my Jeep build, how it's looking, um, everything that I've done to it so far. I just want to give you guys a quick rundown um, and give you guys a f uh, look into what I plan on doing next. So uh, let's get right into the basics. It's a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sport. Um, it has about 82,000 miles on it um, and it's been nothing but reliable. Um, since I got it about 67,000 miles, just a little over a year ago. Um, I absolutely love it, you know, I still love it and it's, it's amazing. Um, so uh, just for uh, the basic mods, um, it has a three and a half inch rough country lift kit. It has some 35 inch um, BF Goodrich tires. Um, just, you know, the few quick basic things people wanna hear. Um, so let's get right into the fun stuff. Like I said, it has a three and a half inch rough country lift kit. Um, it is a control arm drop bracket lift kit. It comes with springs, shocks, uh, front and rear track bar relocation brackets, um, the control arm drop brackets. Um, this isn't part of the kit, but I am running also um, uh, dual rough country steering stabilizers. I'm still debating if I want to go um, back to one or two. I'm, I'm still kind of debating if I like running the dual or not. Uh, I'm on the fence about it. I, part of me doesn't like it and wants to go to like a one um, stabilizer back like stock, um, but I haven't really made up my, my uh, decision yet. So. Um, so yeah, if I give you guys a little front view of that, looks pretty dope. Uh, I definitely want to do more steering upgrades um, in the future. I'll go to the back of the Jeep. As you guys can see, the, um, the rough country shocks, the uh, track bar drop bracket, the uh, rear diff and axle. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good lift kit. It's a budget option. Um, I have no, had no issues with it. Um, and if you guys are looking for a, a nice lift um, that's super affordable, super cheap, um, I have I've had no complaints with rough country lifts, and I let they get a bunch of hate and whatnot. Um, but my brothers run the rough country lifts. I have a bunch of friends that run rough country lifts, no issues. So, you know, they're, they're better quality now than they were. So, uh, let's get on to my wheels and tires. Uh, the wheels are 17 by nine uh, pro comp wheels. They are series 40 vertigo, um, they're alloy. They have uh, 4.75 back spacing, negative six offset. Um, and then the tires are BF Goodrich. Um, mud terrain KM3s. Absolutely love these tires. Um, I'm probably gonna be making a review on them um, shortly. They aren't truly 35s. They're about like 34 and a half, but fuck it, who cares? They're, they're fucking amazing. Um, but the wheel and tire setup gives it a nice little bit of poke. Um, gives the Jeep a nice look and whatnot, but um, that's the lift, wheels and tires. Um, let's go back to the front of the Jeep and I can show you um, what I'm going with. So this is new for you guys to see. I am running a EAG stubby front bumper. I got it on Amazon for like $279. Super cheap and super nice and super affordable. Um, you know, I love the look of it. It has no issues with the rusting I've had it on for about like, uh, like three months. I got it as soon as the last video uh, went up. But, uh, it's nice because it has a bunch of like nice features like it has a winch pl plate, a fair lead bracket, uh, it comes with shackle mounts um, and a light bar tab. I'll go over this in a minute because it looks kind of stupid, but I'll, I'll go over that like I said. So, oh, and factory fog light, light mounts um, and it's super simple. It mounts where the factory bumper mounts there um, and you know, it mounts with the Full bol four bolts on each side for the D-ring mount, so super easy to put on. Um, I didn't record a video of me installing it, but I might uh, take it off and do like an installation video. I don't know, I was just pressed for time when I got it, and you know, I wanted to get it installed, so I didn't really you know, do it and whatnot, but I might go back to it in the future. Um, another new thing I got is these uh, factory JK Rubicon rock sliders. Um, they are for the two-door, and uh, I got them for a steel, I think. You know, they came off of a Willys, not a Rubicon. 
but it had like 2300 miles on it so they're practically brand new like there's literally like not really anything wrong with them they weren't used off-road and whatnot um what i do want to do is i want to cut these back maybe like two or three inches so they're flush um i want to like you know trim this pinch seam here um just so i have more room for you know articulation and whatnot but um i know you know this kind of looks stupid how far back you know if you think if you stuff the tire all the way up in this wheel well your tires could be hitting the rock rail so i'm going to cut this back like two or three inches um but no it's super nice it mounts to the like factory spot for the running boards and whatnot so i had all the bolts and whatnot um but that's that um we got a hard top um if you guys haven't seen my video i painted it black it came out fucking amazing i absolutely love it um i have a video on how i did it quick little time lapse type video i'll go back to the inter interior in a few minutes but got a hard top i love it i am actually looking to get a soft top though i'm looking to get a uh, uh best top track top track top nx glide um the one that's most likely to the uh the new jl soft tops um you know no zippers it has like the channels you punch out the window and it slides out um that's what i'm looking to get um back to the front here um i got rugged ridge no, actually, not, not Rugged Ridge. Uh, I got X Sprite uh, off Amazon. Uh, grill inserts. I'm not too crazy about them. I got them for free, but I might end up taking them out and just going back to normal. Um, I got Sun Pie LED headlights. Super bright. Um, absolutely no complaints with them. They're amazing. Um, I actually might be getting different Sun Pie LED headlights uh, without the Halo ring because I don't have it hooked up. And now that I think about it, I really don't want the Halo rings. Not too crazy about it. I think an all black headlight look better. Um, you know, I got some matching fog lights um, to go with it. Um, I got some LED switchbacks. So they're uh, solid white LEDs. And then when I turn on uh, the turn signal, they flash orange. So looks sweet. Um, I might be end up tink tinting those um, like darker. Um, you know. I got factory fenders still. I'm looking to get the Smittybill XRC fenders, you know, the, the super cheap ones, but you know, I want something super stubby looking. I want it to look aggressive. So um, that's that. Uh, like I said, I got the Rough Country dual steering stabilizers down here. Um, that's pretty much that. Uh, let's see, I got some towel, plastic armor. I believe these are EAG. Um, because unfortunately I got a dent under here. Um, it's fairly new. Uh, yeah, eh, you guys know. Cheap, cheap shit. So, um, I got that. I know that wasn't too crazy about like the like metal, you know, stuff. So I think this has a better design and look to it. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh fuck, what am I doing? uh yeah so <laughs> back up front um since i live in uh communist new york uh i have to have a front license plate so it's super like ghetto looking but i zip tie the license plate using the two fairly bolts and you know running a zip tie through here and uh it works until i get a winch uh i'll figure out another solution for that but uh yeah, I wish I didn't have to run uh, a front plate because it looks super clean that way, but, you know, whatever. Um, this is my light bar. It's a Rough Country, which Rough Country lights are super amazing. We'd eventually get a 50 inch for over the windshield, but this is a 12 inch. Um, the nice thing about it is that it's a black series, so it goes with the Jeep. Um, this is a, you know, it's flood on the sides and then spot in the center. Um, but it gives it a nice look. Um, comes with both the L brackets and the adjustable like slide brackets. Um, and yeah, if you guys are wondering why I have this piece of metal here, uh, so when I measured it, you know, from side to side, the light bar lines up with the holes, but I didn't accommodate for the mounts. So the L brackets kind of one goes here and the other one will be in the hole. So it wouldn't line up and then the slide mounts, which is what I'm using now, uh, they wouldn't work either. So I got pretty much a piece of aluminum, cut it, put a few drills on it, 
or put a drill a few holes in it. And uh, this is what I came up with. And you know, uh, it's okay. Uh, I prefer to get a better solution eventually, but um, it works. And uh, what I ended up having to do, so I, I you know drilled the um, the bracket to this, and I bolted up with the slide mounts in the center here. Um, and then the light bar was still super tucked up, like half of it was behind the bull bar. Uh, so what I did is I got some like spacers, uh, like some steel spacer sleeves, and I put the bolt through that, and it pushed the light bar down, so it gives it a better look. And you know, that utilizes the two rows, so it's super bright. Um, I love it. I go to the rear of the Jeep here. Um, I got a hitch. Uh, shackle mount with the d-ring um, got the factory tow hook uh, I got a, a LED uh, strip under the tailgate um, does blinkers uh, brake and reverse uh, it's super sweet super cheap too it's like 40 bucks off Amazon um, and also I don't have the uh, factory uh, tail uh, trailer harness so I got an aftermarket one and it's pretty much in the tail the tail light housing there. Um, it's behind the body of the Jeep. Um, but that's how it connects and it's super easy. Looks super sweet. Um, this is the Kentrol um, spare tire delete with license plate relocation bracket. I made a video on this, um, but it's super sweet. Gives it a nice look. I'm kind of debating putting a 35 on the back of my Jeep and you now I'm kind of like, I like the look of this, but at the same time, I want to change it up, so um, got a uh, awesome fuck cancer sticker. Um, you know, it's gray for brain cancer. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my tattoo at all, but um, that's it. You know, uh, it's a pretty dope decal. You know, fuck cancer. That's, that's all I can really fucking say. Um, and then I got some awesome JW speaker taillights. They are at the 279 J series. Um, I got them for a hundred or no, not even a hundred bucks. Got them for 80 bucks off, uh, Facebook marketplace. You know, a guy wanted a hundred. I talked them down to 80 and they're brand new. Um, you know, they were never installed. They were in a box. So they're, they're five years old, but they were never installed on a Jeep. Um, the only thing I have to do to them is replace the resistor on the side because, uh, sometimes the resistor just doesn't work and it will say the taillights out, but the blinker still works. Um, so I just keep getting a pop-up occasionally. Um, so I just gotta eventually just you know cut out the resistor and put in a new one. But other than that, they're fantastic head, uh, taillights. I love the look of them, and you know I got them for a fucking killer deal. So I ain't complaining if it's just doing that every now and then. Um, if we go under the Jeep, um, I got some reverse pots. Uh, let me stand back more so you guys can get a better look at them. So I got one there and one over there. Again, these are Rough Country lights. They're black series. Um, they are floodlights. And how I did to mount them is I took a little piece of aluminum again. Um, and it's one of the L-shaped ones. Um, so I pretty much drilled two holes in it, um, cut it to a, a good length, and uh, used the bumper uh, bumper mounting bolts, if you uh, can see that better now. And I put one for the pod and then I just drilled a hole and then I ran the wire up over the rear of the frame up behind the front bumper and you know the other one um, the wires are running into the frame and I spliced them in about halfway into the frame there and then you know they runs up into the engine bay if I can open up my hood here Um, this is the engine bay. I'll go over this in a second, but it comes up right here. Uh, this wire that's for the pods. Um, and then we have this. So again, rough country, you know, I, I'm super satisfied with their products. You know, everyone gives rough country shit for the lifts and all their other products, but you know, maybe you don't, you know, want their lift kits, but they have some good other products, uh, like the lighting accessories, especially. It's, it's phenomenal. No complaints with it at all. But this is the Rough Country MLC6. Um, 
the multiple light controller. Uh, it fits two latches and literally it makes everything easy to get your lights mounted. So you have um, some already uh, relays and fuses and whatnot. Um, this is ground and the power to the battery, which goes over there. Uh, this is a power harness for the switches. Um, what I did is before I mounted this, I undid this bolt and kind of pushed this so I ran the wire under here and I did it uh, through that firewall, um, through the uh, hard top um, rear washer um, hose. You know, this is where it goes. Um, so I popped that grommet out and I just ran the wire through there. Um, and pretty much where that comes out, if I go inside my Jeep, um, if you pop this panel off, it'll come out in here. And what I did to get that harness um, up into the Jeep, I ran it up the A pillar and across the top of the windshield header. Um, it's this is super easy. I didn't make an install for this too because it took a lot longer. I had to keep adjusting stuff, but pretty much, if you have um, grab bars, you could have to take them off. Um, you could have to take off the two screws uh, for the visor. Then you're going to pull this down. There's a really long Christmas tree clip. I'm going to pull that down, and then you're going to get your hand behind the windshield uh, trim here. Just pull that back. You're going to want to. Uh, trim out a little bit of the header to accommodate for the uh, bracket um for the foot loop footman loop um you know there's gonna be a bracket to mount the switch panel up here and then uh once you get this mounted up you're gonna want to have the bracket all the way to the left or then this latch won't properly properly uh, latch and you know after a lot of fiddling with it i got it to work um but there's a little button here on the side this uh blue lights so that's my bumper that's my reverse pods um, i'll show you guys that in a second but pretty much you could want to pop you want to bolt this up and pop the header on at the same time as you feed the wiring behind it um and then you're going to put this back on and then this just pops off and this pops off with some clips and whatnot um but yeah i'm super happy with the product it's super easy um if i go back to the front you can see my light bars on in there. That's uh, that's my light bar. And then if I go to the rear of my Jeep, you guys can see I have my reverse pods on. Um, if I turn on all my lights real quick. You guys can see at the tailgate. Um, light bar um, and then I got these JW speaker um, taillights and then this is a brake light for the Kentrol um, spare tire delete license, care, uh, license plate relocation bracket you got a license plate um, LEDs they're kind of turning yellow unfortunately but they were white but they're turning yellow um, go up to the front and I got the side fender markers and then I got a completely white jeep like i said those are um switchbacks so they're gonna run white and if i go back and say i turn on like my hazards or something now they're gonna flash orange and it's uh it's pretty dope so uh nothing really too crazy done with the engine bay um like i said the Rough Country MLC 6. Um, I ran the power and the uh, ground wire across the top of the engine. Um, and then, I, you know, I just zip tied and secured it. Um, there's the factory um, power and the negative. You can also, this red wire here, you can go to the fuse box if you want. I always wanted power to it, so that's what I did. Um, I got a VMS um, bullet antenna with the green tip. I had this on my Patriot if that looks familiar. Um, I'll show you this, the, J the JW speaker taillights and the, uh, the tailgate um, LED strip. Now if I turn everything back off, so that's that. Um, I got 20% window tint 
on my Jeep. So gives it a nice look. Um, it matches like pretty much perfectly. Um, if I go into my Jeep, I got rugged ridge um, entry guards. Um, and then other than that, interior wise, um, it's pretty basic. I got some cheap Amazon paracord, um, you know, roll bar grab handles. I did a video on that on my YouTube channel. Um, it's pretty nice. They're like 12 bucks. I got some steel grab bars up on the A pillar. Those are super great. Um, I got a little phone mount, got a radar detector, all my sunglasses in there. Um, radar detector. I usually have a phone charger in here. Um, Get a little flashlight. Um, that's pretty much it. There's not really too, too much crazy in here. I got, you know, that stupid rough country sticker. Um, you know, I've got my black hard top. Um, is there anything really else in here? Nothing too, too special. Um, just go to the back of the Jeep real quick and I'll show you. I just open this up. Um, it's pretty, you know, basic back here. Got a uh, uh, brush for snow in the winter with the ice scraper. Um, you know, I got my uh, Rough Country light covers. You know, I got them for the fogs and the license plate, or the license plate, the light bar in the front. Um, got mask. You know, fuck COVID and all that shit. If I lift this up, I um, just got some, you know, D rings in here, first aid kit. A uh, little you know, survival kit, some tools, and um, some bug spray, some emergency, emergency lights, and whatnot. Um, and then, obviously, I don't have my back seat in. I have that in the garage, but uh, you know, I'm gonna be making a video on this. But if you guys have these like seat belt pads, um, those are good to, so your seat belts don't flap in the wind. But just give you guys another look at the hard top painted black. It's pretty fucking dope. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, forgot to mention, you know, cheap little black, uh, license plate, uh, delete thing, you know, just pops out. You know, nothing too, too crazy. That's, that's that. Uh, quick little rundown of what I want to do. Like I said, I want to get a new steel rear bumper. Uh, Smitty Bill XRC fenders. I'm gonna get the automatic quad check powered mirror movers. Um, I want to get a new Pioneer head unit. I'm looking at one. Um, I want to get the factory um, Alpine Xfinity sub enclosure that goes there. Put a JBL audio uh, subwoofer in there. I saw a video on that uh, where some dealership did that. Um, I want to get the Rough Country. Uh, tailgate reinforcement and tire carrier throw a 35 on because i still have a rim i just don't have a tire um the best top truck top annex glide i want to get that soft top um and then the um i want to get uh pods here rough country uh 50 inch light bar across the windshield there and I think that's pretty much it. I can list off the top of my head. That's like the main stuff I want to do. There's obviously a bunch more, um, but I have the all on a list on my my PC. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little walk around of my Jeep. Um, I don't think there's anything I'm missing. If there is, I'll make a little annotation on the screen or leave it down in the description. Um, if you guys want any of this stuff, I'll leave it down in the description as well. Um, it's a bunch of dope stuff, you know. It, my jeep is finally coming together and, and you know i'm super happy with it um so yeah i'm hoping to get back into youtube um doing more videos on my jeep and whatnot uh, like i said i uh, just got a promotion with my job um at cvs to be a smit a store manager in training so i've been like busting my ass with work and whatnot like running the store myself and whatnot so you know i'm super busy working like 45 hours a week plus you know whatever the fuck i go in there i'm my off time do the work uh, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, it's been super busy, uh, not too, too much free time, but I'm 21 now. So pretty dope. Um, so yeah, and I also want to start getting into vlogs and whatnot. I want to go to Rash Creek when all this COVID shit is over. Um, I was planning to go in the summer, but you know, how all that shit happens. So definitely want to go 
do some wheeling trips and this with my friend um, and just you know have fun with the Jeep start doing some vlogs and some you know, driving videos and whatnot oh another mod uh, full master outlaw um, exhaust it's fucking it's fucking amazing that's another thing I want to get next that's probably be like my next other than the like head unit and subwoofer um, but yeah so hope you all like my Jeep um, it's coming it's coming along pretty well like I said um, still a bunch of stuff I want to do to it um, if you guys have anything you guys would like to see next uh, leave leave a comment leave, leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more Jeep Wrangler videos and maybe a few Jeep Patriot videos like I said in my previous video um, and just you know some vlogs and whatnot so you know, I really want to start doing YouTube a lot more and uh, putting better quality into my videos and whatnot so it's enough rambling I hope you all liked my uh, my Jeep you know there's much more stuff to go so yeah subscribe for more videos leave a like leave a comment and I'll see you all next time